Hi, uh, what we're doing, we're going to do a few videos today, but I thought I'd open up with a kind of a bit of a discussion um, about toys and toy collecting and unboxing, keeping in packaging, etc. That's why Michael's here as well. So uh, we're going to have this kind of discussion because uh what i've been reading lately and through facebook or other things is people collecting for an investment especially modern toys whether it's star wars or anything what's modern now my take on it is you should collect because it brings back some nostalgia to your childhood or you want to play with it enjoy it and enjoy it now if you have three minting boxed uh, action men like somebody I recently sold something to uh, was quite willing to tell me how big his collection was and what was going on with it and he had three minting box jeeps three minting box tanks three minting box everything minting box why and uh, also if you buy something from the shop if it says it's 20 pound and it's rare because no one gets it and then you buy it on ebay or any other website and it's 50 pound because they've they've just put the price up so you pay it because you want it doesn't mean it's going to be worth anything in the future so this is kind of what i got michael here for as well is because because I Love Action Man was from my childhood, or Thunderbirds, which is in the background, or Batman, or Superman. If you collect these things, and you think in 50 years time, youngsters of this generation are going to give uh, two hoots about a mint box action man. I think is is mistaken, because it's relating to what it means to you, not not value. It doesn't mean because you pay £500. If the market goes out the window and no one wants to buy, say, Action Man, Star Wars, or something like that, well, basically, they're going to be worthless. Now, that's my take. Now, what's your take on opening your stuff and playing with it? Um, I think, like, if it's, like, really, really rare, then and it's mint, then maybe ca carefully open it. But... If it's just like, say, a five pound toy, toy or something, and open it and play with it and enjoy it, which is what toys are for, and what they're made for, so. So you would still like if say something say came into the house and it was five hundred pound mint box sealed, you would still open it and play with it if yeah. you if you had that inclination. Yes. So you because you'd like Star Wars. Yes, very much. Yeah. So. You wouldn't be happy with a mint box sitting on the shelf and you couldn't open it and play with it. I would not be happy with that. So, toys are made to be in, played and enjoyed with, not sit on a shelf gathering dust. Right. So, that's uh, Michael's opinion, which I agree with because, yeah, I have sealed things only because space. And I'm not really going to sit and play with a. Uh, uh, a car did uh, Bruce Lee or Superman I've got so I don't buy them to put as an investment I just buy them because I like the packaging so um, you know there's a, there's a line I mean I'm obviously a lot older than Michael is so he opens and plays with his toys whether it's Clone Wars, Star Wars or any toy line because he's obviously that age and to me I'm not that age now. I don't sit around. Well, I do play with toys, but I mean, I don't sit around hours on end like with like Michael does with his imagination. I did that. I do it because it reminds me of something that I can cling to. I don't remember a lot of my childhood toys because they were taken away from me. So I remember Thunderbirds. I remember Action Man. So I have a Scorpion tank which I play with. You know, it's not mint condition. It's all there. That's that's one thing I do do. I make sure when I buy something that it has all the accessories, because you know to try and buy them separate is very expensive, and people up the price. That's again, because something's valuable or rare, doesn't mean it's going to be like that in a few years' time. 
you should to buy them because they bring some memory or you know you want to play with them yeah and enjoy them they... I lost it oh, and yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, but I actually quite like the look of the Scorpion tank, and it's very cool. I don't think they should pay, you should pay like hundreds of pounds for it when you can get it cheaper from somewhere else. Yeah, and you play with it. Yeah, I'd rather play with a, like, say, if I had a choice between a mint package one or, like, one that has all accessories but loose, I'd choose a loose one yeah. instead of the mint package yeah. one. yeah. yeah. Because, like I said, toys are meant to be played with. Yeah. I mean, I know people who uh, I watched lately, somebody who collects hot toys, a very expensive toy line. And what he does is he throws away the boxes because he doesn't want the boxes. And I can completely understand that because it's the thing inside the box. When you were a kid, you ripped open the box. But now it seems like the box is really important. But it's uh, it's kind of sad, really. That's why I kind of wanted to do this video uh, it might not not make a lot of sense but you know you should pick things up because end of the day they're cool you like them and you've got some connection to them I mean I watch a lot of uh, videos on YouTube where you know they've got hundreds and hundreds of items that they weren't into when they were a child and I think well you know especially the 80s, 80s is really hot in the sense of you get people buying you know, everything from annuals to badges to, you know, whatever. And you're thinking, you know, and then they've got a massive collection that takes over their whole house. I try to keep mine in one corner and it's, it is quite hard. But at the end of the day, you know, if I look at it, I can go, yeah. And plus it helps that he likes a lot of stuff I like. So we watch a lot of stuff together. Yeah. And I think that's actually more important is the actual time you spend with your children if you've got a yeah. connection and you don't force it on them. I mean, I didn't force Star Wars on him. I don't force Star Trek on him. I don't enforce Action Men on him or I don't enforce any any toy line. He comes up with his own. And, you know, we both like playing with small soldiers. We both yeah. like playing. So it's just, it's lovely. I write, that, that means more to me than a, a mint box toy because, you know, at the end of the day... You know, what memories are you going to have? You're going to have a mint box toy, but if your child or you haven't had some experience with it, I yeah. don't... I, 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 do you know what I mean? It's, yeah. I just think it's... It seems a bit... Anyway, that's my waffling on. Have you got anything last to say to about it? Um, just enjoy toys and play with them. Boxes... At the end of the day, boxes is just a piece of the card, so... Yeah. You, toy, toys are supposed to be played with, so keep playing with them. And yeah. Right. That's a good way to finish, I think. Yeah. Right, so thank you for watching. We are going to do a couple of videos today about toys as well as me waffling on about collecting them. So uh, keep tuned and thank you for watching and subscribe if you enjoy this. If not, well, thank you for watching anyway.